Josh, uh, we gotta go, go be a cop out in front of the uh, police station right now. We gotta go be a cop. Don't worry about it, radio. Detective Sharpshooter is on the case. We need a cop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? We need a cop over here. Welcome back to Cop Bros. <laughs> Super cops. Super cop bros. <laughs> Super cops. Super cops. Uh, we are on a random DLC mission just popped up uh, called the consoles car. We're going to uh, investigate Jacob's backyard. We have to go find it. Was, it was an abandoned Packard in the in a in a lot in an empty lot. Yeah. I love their high waist, fast talking ways. Yo, so we realized that we cause problems if we, uh. Oh. Oh, you gotta go on top of the bridge, buddy. You effed up. You effed up. You gotta go above that bridge. I noticed. You know what's funny? You're a cop, oh. which means you have a siren. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese and crackers, let's do this. Whoa! How do I get up there? Shots fired. Damn. How do I get up there? I believe in you. There's stairs to the left. You can just drive up the stairs. Not that far left. Where are you? Are you gonna I'm hit that person? Get, no, I wanna there get up. There you go. Freeway on ramp. I'm just... Oh boy. Don't run into the tree. Don't break the company car, or in this case, the government car. I did it. I'm hey. the best cop driver in the world. Move aside. Beard Bros Out of the way. Beard Bros I homework. Go watch Darth Meringi's Gar Darth Place. Fuck. Oh my god. Let me try it again. Go watch a Darth Meringi's Dark Place. Garth? It's Garth Meringi. Garth Meringi. Damn it. Garth Meringi's Dark Place. The best part in the first episode is when he's talking in slow motion and it goes, Move aside. And then you hear faintly in the back, That's the mother, Rick. I got killed. You know, this isn't a tank, Phelps. That's what I said. I'm just trying to park. Bukowski. Is that even his name? I think so. What are you doing? I'm what trying are you to, I'm trying to get the mission to proc, but it just won't proc. There you go. <laughs> Jacob's backyard, 2 p.m. What's the skinny beat cop? We are cops that are super. We are the suit cops. Houlihan, you looked a lot like our old partner when we were in the force. <laughs> Back when we were beat cops. Back when we were beat cops. Two episodes ago. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was our, like, friend. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got up. Also, my friends tell me I look like Channing Tatum. <laughs> Sure, sure, take your time. time. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go investigate. <laughs> All right. Go to the car. I just wanted to just get a scope of the neighborhood. So there's no license plate. Oh, here's A. Let's take a look. What do we got? Okay. All right, so we got a oh, registration, registration slip. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Weird. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. Check the trunk. Trunk time. Empty. Empty trunk. The tire's missing. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, front wheel tire's gone. And the spare's gone as well. Okay, so we're missing a spare tire from the trunk and the actual front tire's missing. Go go investigate to make sure we, we got it in our book. Oh, yeah. there's a B around the corner, too. Yeah. Okay, missing wheel. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. All right, we're cops, dude. All, All right. right. So we got the front. The license plate is gone. Oh, I see. The license plate is gone. Yeah. That's what the clue is. Okay. I thought you were just noticing that. Okay. Where's C? Um, oh, 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 oh! Notice. Okay, look at the car. There's no flag. Ah! Uh, must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. A souvenir? The hell case is this? Where's C? Do you see Exhibit C? 
No. Oh, is that it over there? Oh, is it like a hammer or something? Oh, it's a wrench. Bing, bang, boom. Give me this wrench. Show me the names. Come on, just get it. Get, get it. Combination wrench. Property of Dewey Bros. <laughs> Super Dewey Bros. They blew it. Why did they write their name on their murder tool? <laughs> There's no blood in it. We don't know what it is. We know they broke the window, maybe. <laughs> is the window broken? Is that what he said? Let's go. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's go talk to someone because now we we solved it. This when it goes, old asshole on the porch. Yo, when it goes <laughs> like the Zelda theme, <laughs> you it mean means we're it, done. <laughs> when it just plays the Zelda theme? It literally does. It <laughs> went. That's right. Dude! That's right? Yeah. Exactly Wait, is that Robert Duvall for real? I was no. No. Room. It's not. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Oh my god, anyway, calm your ass down. I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Okay. All right, witness report. Witness report. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans. Whoa, whoa. Uh, he's telling the truth because he's racist. <laughs> he is a, just a true-blooded racist. He's a true-blooded racist. It's a really... Racism confirmed. Yeah, he, look, he's so serious about it. <laughs> I'm I racist. seriously hate this race. It is the 40s. It is cool to be racist, and I am that. <laughs> Loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. Oh my God! Whoa. Calm your ass down. You Let's racist, ask the Hispanic you racist suspects. old man. After the uh, Mexicans left, <laughs> Phelps <laughs> even can't say it. No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Yo. I doubt he went towards that. Look at him! Look at that, <laughs> that Niro ass face. This is Robert De Niro. He's smiling. Okay, he's not lying. Are you? Are you? He's not. He's not full are on you lying. lying? Are you? I don't think he's lying. I think he's full of doubt. I think he's. Look I think it. we should need to doubt him. Look at him. He's, are you he's hiding you? something, Alex. Yeah, he's fucking hiding something. Let's doubt that shit. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. I'm a sweetie. That car. You can't be accusing me of nothing. Calm your ass Possible down. Possible suspect. Why did you lie? Suspect vehicle. What? Why did you lie then? Ugh, don't look at me like that. <laughs> All right. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. I'm an old man. That's real. Look he's at that he's racist old face. That true racist true face. True racist. He's, 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 he's right. You look like the kind of guy who knows. You look like the kind of racist who notice details. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. All right, let's ask about the uh, stripped car parts. Did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Oh my God! Did you see that eye movement? <laughs> okay, Robert De Niro over here. He, he, doubt him again, <laughs> Robert. Yeah, I would say. I would be? say. I would. <laughs> You talking to me? I would say hey, I would, anybody I, else here? Alex. There's no one else here. You must be talking to me. <laughs> you talking to me? 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 Right. <laughs> so what did you take, Jacobs? You want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was gonna show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Don't be a liar, you shitty old man. Dude, I just want to point out, we've been 100% correct this time. We are crushing this. Yo, what do these intuition points do aside from, like, cheat? They're cheats. They're just cheats? I think they're just cheats. We don't need no intuition, boy. All right, what am I... We good boys. What am I Follow doing? Follow we gotta go get that Oh, that we gotta notebook. go get the notebook. We just sat down in a chair around the corner? It's on the bench, he said. It's on the bench. 
I am old. Right. Listen, listen here, Robert De Niro. Where the fuck did you put it? Is it on the bench over there? Robert, Robert Duvall, Duvall Nero. Nero. There it is. 1947. A very good Agenda. year. Agenda. Juan Francisco, Juan Francisco Valdez. Valdez. has a name on it and he didn't say anything? What a dumb, dumb old man. Scroll down. I can't. I'll run John Madsen. A degenerate. Can we do anything else? This is like some like <laughs> serial killer <laughs> shit. Can Look you do anything this. else or no? Yeah. Angelic features, but feisty. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Ah. Dark good looks. Timothy Stobo slim hips. Jeremy O'Dell likes gifts. Is this like a little black book? Oh, see? Da -da -da -da. We're done. I think we the name well. Oh, phone. Oh, I need to call in oh. the. You used to call me on my phone. You used to, you used to. You used to call me on the pay phone. But now we have cell but phones. But now we have cell phones. <laughs> Phelps, batch 1247. Your police phone? Hi. Hi, I am I am a cop. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. What a crazy old-fashioned way of doing police work. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. So do they just like Can you put me through to Michigan 2458? Use Google now? Yeah, of course. I bet you they're going to say hello, can I help you? Whoa. LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. What's Uh-oh. Oh my god, it's a pedophile book. Just turned 16. What? It's a pedophile's book. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. What? It's a pedophile's Three book. Messages. There's just one message for you, detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Dude. Thanks. I bet it's like a pedophile's book. That's why all the names were like people and he's like likes gifts. Angelic. Oh my god. All right. So I say Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs and I'll read your report back at the station. I say Who am I talking to? Let's uh All right. Where can we go? Well, Let's see. We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this. He literally guy. answered your question. So let's go to the dealership. dealership. For let's go. We'll buy the car. Dealership first. Dealership first, cop second. Yeah. Because he'll wait, right? He's not gonna like ditch the station. He's gotta. And the question is, Alex, do you want to drive or do you want him to drive? I'm gonna let him drive. I'm just gonna let him drive. I'm gonna just let him drive. Why not? He seems to be saving me money. He seems to be saving money. I seem to almost kill someone every time I drive the car. So maybe I'll just I'll just let him drive the car. Not your favorite cases. You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered. Oh, they're changing to the cinematic camera angles. Oh, it totally is a fast travel. I forgot that it was really a fast travel for some reason. That's so weird. All right. All right, homies. What? They just quickly showed a picture of the Chinese theater. There was just nothing. It just showed a picture of the Chinese theater. <laughs> Why did it do that? It was like, and here's the Chinese theater, and we're back. <coughs> <laughs> See the dealerships from the beginning of uh, GTA 5? You're making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door, and couldn't help yourself. Oh my you god. See yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. What a skeezy well, man. I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. 
That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. I like this guy. Let's figure it out. Let's follow this man. What if he takes off and I have to shoot him? <laughs> Move aside. Move aside. That's the mother, Rick. <laughs> Seriously, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place is so funny. In here. It's a really funny show. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. The wrench is missing. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a oh, we gotta car. put them back and so see which one who the has the missing wrench. <sighs> this guy's still trying to sell, sell the cops a car. All right. I'm playing with my big boy version of a shape puzzle. This is literally just like what a baby does when it puts things that are like the same shape and stuff. Hey, you're controlling a real human being, man. Go down. What I'm saying is like, this is crazy. Like, this is like not, this is just a waste of time. This is not like a mini game. Hey, you don't know. That'd be nice. Be nice to whom? It's a game. It has feelings. Team Bondi doesn't even exist anymore. Mm. Roasted. Gabriel Delgado is a POI. Let's go talk to the sheriff. <laughs> what? I don't know. What are you talking about? I have no idea. Okay, wait. So what can I do now? Should I keep looking around here? I think we gotta keep looking around. Or should I go talk to him about Gabriel Delgado? Yeah, well, we, we found the missing wrench, so let's go tell him. Hey, get back here. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Who is who is Valdez? Who is Valdez? Why does he have a pedophile book? <laughs> What's the deal with Valdez's pedophile book? Why is he such a pedophile? How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. You're full of shit. He must know a quality car when he sees one. He's full of shit. He looks like he's putting on a poker face. Should I call him out on lying? What do I have against him? Let me look at my notebook. The registration slip? We have his notebook! Oh, this notebook, he's in there! Oh, his name is in there. Dewey is in the notebook! Yeah, that's right, that's right, okay, that's right. Call his lie! And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. Does Dewey have a son? Like a little boy? Yeah. All right. Oh, j give him the, uh... I have to show him the notebook. The notebook. Right? Yeah. We found your contact details in Valdez's notebook. He had to be calling you for something, Dewey. Okay. Oh, okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. It's not a pedophile book. He bought the car through the embassy. It might be a pedophile book. Change on the side. It happens all the time. Where's the gato at? Whereabouts Where of Delgado? Delgado? I don't know. Sure as hell isn't here. Are you doubt. full of shit? I, I He's doubt He's not him. even looking straight in my eyes. <laughs> or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. I'm the partner. 103 Hill Street. Damn, he had that ready to go. If he ever shows his face around here again, I'm gonna kick his butt from here to Kingdom Come. What's that sound? A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking part. A couple of Hispanics, the racially sensitive term we use in the 40s. <laughs> Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. <gasps> he seems like he's telling the truth. I don't know. I think... I say we either... I say we use intuition point. You think so? Alright, let's do it. Wait. Wait. Ask the community. Careful use of it can lead to breakthroughs and in interviews. Chose the correct answer after using the intuition point in this question. For more community info, okay. So ask the community or remove an answer. Well, I mean, intuition points do what? Cost rank? Uh, I don't know what they do. No, well, you, get okay. them, you get them from ranking up. Okay, so... I think, I don't think he's lying. I think 
I don't believe him though. I think I think we should doubt him. But you think he's telling the truth. So we're he we're looks just, like he's telling the truth. He he looks like he was telling the truth, but he's making the same faces before. That's why I have doubt. Okay. He got I, I see a little bit of worry in his eyebrows, maybe. Yeah, he's gonna he's like kind of squinting every now yeah. and then. I think I think he's I think he's I think he's hiding something. All right, you know what? Let's just do it. Maybe we'll. Are you sure? Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'll bite. The, I, I'll bite the bullet if I'm wrong. All right, let's do it. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegal. Yeah. I got him. <laughs> I. You know what? I take advantage of him too. The downside is, they're a little light fingered. <laughs> Thank you for your help, Mister. <laughs> All right, no nailed it. Hell yeah. Damn Hashtag man. perfect detectives. Hashtag super perfect cops. dicks. Hashtag super cops. <laughs> Hashtag perfect Join dicks. Movie, Dewey. You're missing your <laughs> No, <laughs> not that hashtag. The Beard Bros are hashtag perfect dicks. That's not true. <laughs> That's impossible. Look inside your heart, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> you know it's true. From my point of view, the cops are evil. The Beard Bros do have perfect dicks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, uh, we can call it here. Next time on Beard Bros, I get in this car. And we're going to interview Juan Valdez about his pedo book. <laughs> question of the day. Uh, question of the day. This, what's, what's this the fucking show, what's you guys. The, have you ever bought a new car, and what was it? What was your, what was your first car? How about even weirder question? Uh, what is the weirdest item you found in a car? Oh, Okay. Okay, but you know Was what? Was it a pedophile book? <laughs> Did Have you ever found a pedophile book in a car? <laughs> Did it actually turn out to be a pedophile book? Nobody knows. Find out next time on Super Beard Brothers. Later, man. Later, man.